Am I the asshole? For telling my estranged parents to accept that they lost their only child? I have so much more I could say but there's just too much I could rant about. When I was 16 I made the decision I needed to leave and I told them I was going. They rolled their eyes but I moved in with grandma and nothing happened, so I stayed with her and still live with her today. Grandma went to my sister's funeral but I did not. I also did not speak to my parents directly after she died. Grandma did, very briefly. After the funeral was over and I guess once they realized they had nobody, they tried to reach out to me. I told them to accept they had lost their only child and to leave me alone because there was nothing they could do for me after 18 years. They were crying and angry and told me I was so cruel and my sister is dead and I'm trying to punish them when they're grieving the worst loss imaginable. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. They were crying and angry and told me I was so cruel. They have been cruel to you for the whole of your life. Effectively they abandoned you. They have no right to be involved in anything that you do. Not the asshole, they had 18 years to realize their mistakes, and it took a death for them to see it. Good riddance to them. Move on with your life, live it successfully, and attribute all your future successes to your grandma the only adult figure in your life to care for you. Scream that fact from the mountain top if you choose, regardless of how it makes your mother and father look. Not the asshole. I'm sorry they weren't there for you. I'm sorry they neglected you. I'm sorry they placed unfair burdens on you. I'm sorry they neglected your medical needs to focus on your sisters. I'm sorry they left you on your own. I'm sorry they ruined your relationship with them. I'm sorry they ruined your relationship with your sister. And I'm sorry for your loss. Wishing you a brilliant future and sending a hip hip array to your grandma. They were crying and angry and told me I was so cruel and my sister is dead and I'm trying to punish them when they're grieving the worst loss imaginable. They lost you years ago, and they didn't grieve. Not the asshole. Nata, they did not treat you like their child at any point in your life. They treated you as an inconvenience and now that the child they actually cared for is gone they want to pretend the last 18 years of your life didn't happen. You don't owe them anything, they never were parents to you. Not the asshole sorry that you experienced so much trauma. It's a miracle you are so grounded in understanding your boundaries with them and to understand they are grieving without giving in to their request. You deserve to have your wishes respected. Not the asshole this is their chickens coming home to roost. Why tf were you as a child sleeping in the same bedroom with her with all her life support devices? Of course you couldn't sleep. Your grandma sounds like an angel, I love her on your behalf give her a hug and tell her it's from a crazy reddit lady. Two parents and not one of them could stay with you when you had your tonsils removed or when your appendix. That's a bare minimum a parent should do for their child especially when they are married and in the same household. The failed you for years. My condolences for the loss of your sister. Just because one child has medical issues, sometimes severe ones, does not mean parents can ignore their other children. Not the asshole. I hope you're getting counseling. Not so there can be a reconciliation but for your own mental well-being. Nata. Who leaves a child in the hospital alone? I could never do that to my kids. Not the asshole. They treated you like an inconvenience, instead of their own child. I'm sorry that your sister passed. Your biological parents will have to live with the consequences of their own actions. Not the asshole, go full on no contact so you don't have to explain it again. I'm sorry you are in that position, it's not your fault. Not the asshole. Yes a disabled child can take up much time. But they had a second child who would have needed parent back then. They choose to ignore you. So you have every right to cut them off. Good for you that your grandmother sticks to you. Not the asshole. Your grandma sounds like a wonderful woman no child should be neglected just because they have a sick child. You had a sick sibling they are now how to realize they have to reap what they sowed. Not the asshole you spoke your truth. 
It was very harsh considering they just lost another child, but they were not good parents to you. Obviously it was very difficult for them caring for your sister, but that did not mean they should have neglected you. Parents usually get the relationship with their kids that they deserve. Not the asshole. I'm assuming that you want nothing to do with them, so you can simply block them on all avenues and move on with your life. If you want closure, you can also write a letter laying out plainly how they neglected you and how grandma was the one who saved you, then block them right after sending. I'm also fond of the absent parent quiz, aka you quiz them on who your best friend is, who your doctor is, what you want to major in, where you're going for college, etc. to really drive home how they completely failed you. Not the asshole. My aunt has two daughters and one of them was severely disabled from medical conditions since birth can't talk, walk, sit or eat on her own but the healthy daughter was never neglected. So it's very much possible to care for a disabled child while raising the healthy one at the same time. No excuses for your parents at all. You were a waste of time to them then. Just let them know that they're a waste of time to you now. Not the asshole. They lost one child, threw the other one away. God bless your grandma for loving you so wholly. Not the asshole, sorry this happened to you. You're not the asshole and grandma is a truly good person. Glad you have each other. Not the asshole. I get that they had a child with a lot of problems but they treated you like total shit. You have your own life now they are not a part of it. Not the asshole but your parents are. They neglected you almost your entire life and were dismissive about your feelings and your needs. Your grandma sounds like a great person. I suggest therapy. Experiencing this kind of rejection from your parents often leaves scars on our souls that sometimes show very late. Usually when we settle and finally have the room to process our traumas. OP I hope you get over this and have a wonderful life even if your parents failed to provide a good start. Edit typos. Wow, it took them to lose a child to realize they have another child. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It sounds like your sister's death kicked up some strong feelings that wouldn't be there if your parents weren't neglectful. I hope you take the time for some self-care. Regardless of how close you were to your sister, you may be feeling a lot of feels right now. Not the asshole. Yes, they had a very stressful time with your sister. However, they still handled things very poorly. Expecting you to be an adult at the age of 5 or 6 because they didn't want to deal with any issues not about your sister is toxic. Children aren't like dolls to be picked up and played with only when a parent wants to. Not the asshole. It's not an original thought and I encourage everyone to spread it wherever you feel necessary. You do not owe peace to people who abused you. Not the asshole. Your egg and sperm donors neglected you for your entire life and now they want a relationship? Nope. Even if you were punishing them, that's okay, they deserve it.